undefeated, so they handled a, a top 10 team here tonight pretty easily. Welcome but back to the Sanford Stadium in Athens, Georgia, and we are still in the fourth quarter. Tell what the committee looks like. I've never had Ohio State up at the top team, in my opinion. I know the resume is important, but for me, I've looked at Georgia and Michigan as 1A and 1B all year long. And I think that just continues at this point to be the case in my opinion. I put Ohio State at three or four. Don't forget about Washington out, out west. And they keep playing great competition too, and they keep winning football games. Absolutely. We'll see the Huskies next Saturday night at Oregon State. High snap. Spencer Sanders again is in for Jackson Dart. Knocked out of the game. Tyke Smith brings him down. And the reason you put Alabama down is, you know, this is the team early in the year. You and I were in. Tuscaloosa when they lost to Texas next week in USF they're struggling they're trying to find a quarterback and now look at Jalen Melrose one of the great stories of the year their defense is growing up cannot wait for Atlanta to see Bama and Georgia go head to head Sanders third ten escapes a long way to go now slings it short three scores got the football Came close to crossing the line of scrimmage, but it's a legal catch for a first down. And that's Spencer Sanders. You feel the difference in the offense. First of all, just handling the snap, they blitz. But he's got not the power, but the quick, the quickness and a twitch to be able to get out of there in a hurry. And then he finds the open big tight end. Boy, his snaps are high. He had to show athletic ability. Well, that batted it down and keep it in play. Picks up a yard. Like you say, he batted it to himself. He didn't have a chance to secure it, so he just kind of let me try to get a fingertip on that and have to bring it back down to himself. And then somehow gets a couple yards. Last thing you need against the defense closing in fast is to have to take time collecting the snap. Second and nine. Jenkins hit hard right at the 40 and knocked down there. And this down. was the and last one game of the season, too. Georgia in-game adjustments, the resiliency that they played with early in this game. It looked like we had a shootout. I mean, remember that? Ole Miss goes down, scores, Georgia scores, Ole Miss scores. It was like, wow, this Georgia defense, but that Javon Dumas Johnson's going to be in trouble. They settled down, made the adjustments, and they've been a different defense the rest of the game. Play fake, Sanders launches for the sidelines, a battle for the football. Did he come down with that? Wow! They really? Oh. Up and grab those one hand and catch over Everett. How in the world did he catch as he throws his right hand up there? Oh, oh my gosh, what a catch. I mean, on the absolute stretch, kind of cups the football he, and brings it to his chest. He the <laughs> forever. Go back to him again. Guys around college football just do some amazing stuff with these one hand catches these days. Dude, this is catch of the year, mate. Yeah, yeah. And then he secures it on the landing. Great job there, 1 9. Sanders running all the way, spins back out of one tackle, and then gets met by CJ Allen and Raylan Wilson. Raylan. Both freshman linebackers in there right now. Yeah, Raylan Wilson and CJ Allen get used to those names. That will be the middle of this defense. Much smile, Monday moves on. Those guys are future superstars, just young players flying around learning. Tend to an injured Georgia player will step aside. Will step aside. <laughs> 